गुड मॉर्निंग एंड अ वॉम वेलकम टू ईच वन ऑफ यू फॉर योर जोग्राफी क्लास टूडे आई एम टीचर जैनसी एंड आई विल बी टीचिंग यू जोग्राफी दिस यू आई होप यू विल एन्जॉय लर्निंग अबाउट अ प्लानट अर्थ इट्स फीचर्स वेरियस लैंड फॉर्म्स डिफरेंट रीजन्स लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल कॉन्टिनेंट्स ओशंस एक्सेट्रा इट इज इंडीड अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सब्जेक्ट कैन यू टेल मी वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म जोग्राफी The word geography comes from Greek word geo means earth and graphia means to write about so the word geography means to write about the earth geography means to write about the earth the very first lesson in geography is the earth and the graticule in this lesson we are going to understand concepts like angular distance latitude longitude size of the earth use of globe etc so let us begin with the lesson we all have seen a globe globe is a miniature model of the earth the horizontal and vertical lines drawn on the globe forms a net this net is called a graticule with the help of graticule we are able to determine the location of any place on the earth a graticule helps us in determining the location of any place on the earth we will learn about it in detail further in the chapter now here you can see a picture on the screen figure 1.1 this is a picture of the world map what do you observe in this map yes we can observe the continents and oceans on the map there are seven continents in the world namely asia europe africa north america south america australia and antarctica and also the five oceans that is indian ocean arctic ocean atlantic ocean pacific ocean and southern ocean on the right side of the screen some questions are given let us try to answer them the first question is which places are shown on the map if you will observe carefully you can see a red dot and beside it names of places are given the places shown in the map are st petersburg agra port blair tokyo kimberley rome lima Okay. The second question is: In which city is Taj Mahal located? We all know where Taj Mahal is located. Taj Mahal is located in the city of Agra. The third question is: In which continent is the Taj Mahal located? As Taj Mahal is located in Agra, and Agra is a city in the country of India, and India is in the continent of Asia. so taj mahal is located in the continent of asia now the fourth question is in which direction is taj mahal located for graham in st petersburg for katya in kimberley for mishiko in tokyo and minakshi in port blair what will be the direction of taj mahal for the children located in different parts of the world so the location of taj mahal for graham who lives in st petersburg the position of taj mahal is southeast for katya in kimberley south africa the direction is pointing towards northeast for mishiko in tokyo japan taj mahal is due to its west and for minakshi who lives in port blair the direction is northwest from this we understand that the direction of a place it's not same for all children the direction of a place varies from person to person this shows us that the use of direction alone does not help us to accurately describe the location of a place that is why it became necessary to find a new system to state the precise location of any place on the earth thus geographers developed a technique called as the graticule a graticule help us to determine the precise location of any place on the earth let us see what it is 
In this picture, we can see the size of the earth. The length of the east-west diameter is 12,756 km and of the north-south diameter is 12,714 km. From this, we can get an idea how big the size of the earth is. Because of the youth size of the earth and also many other difficulties such as uneven nature of the land, oceanic water, islands, innumerable islands, forests and buildings, we cannot practically draw latitudes and longitudes on the earth. In order to overcome these difficulties, geographers developed a miniature model of the earth, a replica of the earth, which we call as a globe. On this globe, we can draw the horizontal and vertical lines on the earth, which helps in determining the exact location of place on the earth. This horizontal and vertical lines are also called as imaginary lines because there is no such lines on the earth. It has been made by man to find location of places. This is a picture of a globe. A globe is a miniature model of the earth. It gives us an accurate picture of the earth's surface. A globe also shows the location of places on the smaller scale. We can actually draw horizontal and vertical lines on a globe. Now let us study about some features of the globe. The red line which divides the earth into two equal parts is known as the equator. The equator divides the earth into two parts that is the north and the south. The part of the earth above the equator is known as the northern hemisphere and the part of the earth below the equator is the southern hemisphere. You can also see some horizontal line or parallel lines. These lines are called as the line of latitude or parallel of latitude. And as the parallels of latitude moves from the equator towards the pole, the line of latitude becomes smaller and smaller. And at the north and south end of the Earth's axis, they appear as points. These are called as the North Pole and the South Pole respectively. In this globe, you can see vertical lines. The red colored vertical line is called as the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian divides the globe into East and West. The right side of the prime meridian, that is the east part, is called as the eastern hemisphere. And the left of the prime meridian, that is the west part, is called as the western hemisphere. These vertical lines are called as the line of longitude or meridians of longitude. These lines are not parallel to each other. They converge at the north pole and south pole. To converge means to meet at one point. Children, today we learnt about the size of the earth, use of globe, importance of graticule in finding location of a place and learnt in short about the parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. I hope you have understood what have been taught. We will continue with the remaining part of the lesson in our next period. Thank you dear children. Have a nice day.